So I'm driving these today. We've just been held up over the last couple of days with all she's being delivered, you know, and the transport's late, etc. So this is like an, an exercise day. And what we're doing, the lead horse, there, the coloured one on the offside, he's uh, a little bit, you know, finishing off his traffic training, so that's the best place for him. And this fella here on the inside, nice cob, he's just, uh, he don't like the inside so much, you know, being in the curb, because he was really bad in traffic, although he lives on a farm, it's unusual that. Normally they live on a farm, they've seen tractors and such like, and therefore they're, you know, they're pretty good. But, um, hey, leaders, pick it up. The, um, so in that respect, they're both getting their training, but they're all getting exercise. And obviously they're out there, they're seeing traffic. This horse here, called Go-Go, he's an uh, offside horse in the wheel here in this tandem. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely horse. Real nice pony. Um, but he's at the stage now where he's pretty getting pretty used to everything. So he wants to pick that chain up. See that pole chain? He wants to play with it. You know, he's like that relaxed now. He can be out there, traffic running tight alongside him. And he can... Um, You know, he's perfectly happy, he don't, he's not worried. So you've got this motor car coming now. He's quite close to him, he's got no concern. So he started playing, I love that. I mean, it's in home one way, you don't want them playing, do you? You want them to pay attention, but it's nice to see that they're going all relaxed and happy. And they're all in rubber bits, and it's the first time that the um, big old truck coming up here, see? And it's the first time for they see me all see me coloured all she's not too keen of that but you know still kept his pace going didn't come back and sit on the you know he didn't come back at all and sit on me bars or anything so all in all that's pretty good but it gets them all out and exercised and we're going down to a little town called Stockbridge now and We'll have a cup of coffee and they'll have a drink and have their rugs on for a minute and give them a rest and then we'll take them back home. But, uh, come on, baby. Hurt there, sugar plum, come on. Heap, heap. So they're all going along quite happy. You know, you can leave the rain slack and they'll all behave themselves. And they're all just in rubber bits. Every last one of them is just in rubber bits. And if, you know, if I want to stop them, you know... Whoa! And they'll all stand quiet. Walk! Walk! Trot! I'm back to work, no trouble at all. So when they say to me, you know, like... You've got to have a driving bit, you've got to have this, you've got to have that. It's a load of... Well, it's not... I don't mean to be, I'm not in a disrespectful to anybody, but if you've got to drive with a great lump of metal in its mouth and a curb chain to feel safe on the public highway or anywhere else come to that, then they're not trained right, are they? Because all these are doing it fine. And if you say to me, well, you know, they've come a long way, they're about four mile at the moment yeah but they had to come out the yard in the same fashion and you know the film starts when we just come out the yard only about 100 yards from home so so they're all going at me and you know all along i'm just letting them stretch their necks now can you see they're all just having a stretch um and then i'll put them back up on their bits but they can go along like that slack rain um I'm perfectly safe and happy. I'm really pleased with um, this little horse here on the outside, this go-go he's called. He's lovely. He's got like a, you know, he's not, um, 
you know, you've got to, but to be perfectly honest, the way the owners brought this pony up, it's an absolute pleasure to have in the yard. It's respectful, it's not rude, it doesn't push, shove, argue at all. You know, as long as it understands what you want, it's never been in harness before, as long as it understands what you want, it's happy. Um, you know, and it'll do. And, you know, discipline, I'm afraid, is a dirty word, but discipline is not corporal punishment. It's not hitting them, whacking them, and all that, but you're saying you've got to have the patience of a saint and you've got to. Um, So you've got to have the patience of a saint because they do try your patience and if you feel yourself losing it what i'll do is walk away you know if you feel yourself getting frustrated with them it's no good don't help us at all and that's why i keep saying the same thing when you're doing something with them just my opinion this is not golden rules they're what i try and live by for my training but if they're not getting it, make sure you've got plenty of time. You know, like if you think, oh, I'll just have half an hour doing that. Well, if you're going to start a master to do something that, um, you know, you might need an hour, make sure you've got an hour, or an hour and a half even. Do you know what I mean? To do it. All right. All right, mate. So, because the worst thing is to, in the world is to finish on a, on a bad note. Now, a lot of people who do something with it, that all sat down and it's done it, then they'll start doing something else. And the other thing is to go back and consolidate what you've done. Well, that's what we do here anyway at All Strawn. But they want to be safe, confident and happy, and all of these five are exactly that, safe, confident and happy. They're not stressed, they're not uptight, they're not anything other than doing their job, you know. Come over, babe. Come on, babe, get up. Go on. We've had a mishap, everybody does, if you look at the wheeler also in the, the wheeler horses here, the near side horse, his turrets come out the ped. So we've had to do an emergency fix with a carabiner. You know, these sort of things happen. Um, steady, my babies. Oh, the babies, steady. Jig, jig. So I'm getting them all to keep trotting, but jigging real slow. Call it jigging, jig jog, you know, jig jog along. Right, trot. I don't know, I can have a trot up a bit, you know what I mean? Like that. Oi! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So we'll stop here and have a cup of coffee and through this town here, the river runs through. Put a little dog on his hind legs, look. Did you see him? <laughs> the river runs through here, you can see it runs under the under the uh, road in several places. This is the first one here. Uh, it's the river, so we can get a drink, you see, lovely spring water. You know, very clear running water there. Oh, 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 steady baby, steady. <laughs> <laughs>